Okay, in this video, we'll learn the examples for collections framework in Selenium WebDrive for the Java language binding. So let's understand what is a collection framework in Java. So let's go to the Wikipedia to get a basic understanding about the Java collection framework. It is a set of classes and interfaces that are commonly reusable collection data structure. So let's see a, basically what are those, right? So if you see iterable is an interface, right? All the yellow color ones are interface and the collection is an interface. So you have got set list queue. Generally, we may not use queue a lot. So we generally use set and list a lot in our automation projects. In addition to that, we have got abstract collections, right? And abstract set, abstract list. Those are all the abstraction classes, right? In addition to that, we have a concrete classes like this. So our focus will be looking at where are we using collections in Selenium web driver projects. So let's have a focus currently with the set and list. And also let's take a look at some of the map examples. So that would be our focus area where we will be using the collection framework. So before that, let's also take a little deep dive towards the collection. When we do collection, collection is from java.util. So as you saw the diagram, if you go to F4 and collection is basically an interface, which is basically inherited from iterable interface. So collection interface extends iterable interface. So iterable is your base interface, which is coming from, okay? That's, that's a basic one to come in, right? Number one. So once you got the collection interface, so the collection interface basically gives you all the methods that you may want to interact with. Okay, coming back to the collection interface, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the collection a little more. So going back to the collection, and as you see, this is an interface which got introduced from 1.2 of Java. And when you go to your type hierarchy, and then from there, let's go to the right click and try to show in, in the Project Explorer. Let's take a look at it. So you see it is available inside your Java implementation, which is a collection as an interface, right? You also have a collections as a class, so don't get confused between them. So when you see singular collection, it is an interface, whereas collections is a class. Okay, coming back, let's also take a look at the list. So when we look at the list, list is an interface. That's what we understood. So let's go back and take a look at the list as an interface. And the list interface actually extends collection. Similarly, set also does the same when we look at it. So we all know that list can allow duplicates, set cannot allow duplicates. That's a base difference you see from both of these interfaces. So in coming back to the uh, world of uh, Selenium, so let's see where do we really use Selenium, the list concept, okay? For which I need to write quickly the previous Selenium code, which I'll copy paste right now. I have the code for going and setting up the Chrome driver, right, using Web Driver Manager project and launching the Chrome and for loading the URL. So I have a website to look at, right? Where we have multiple links. So my goal is to find out how many links are available, total number of links in this particular page. If I have to do that, we all know that to find out how many links, first we need to write driver dot find elements, not find element. So when we talk about find elements, by dot common thing in all the link is going with it tag names called A. So A is going to represent there's an anchor tag. So the anchor meaning it is all the links as such. Okay. So if you see the find elements, find elements is returning list of web element. It's returning list of web element. If we do control to L, then we end up in finding all the links. So if you see right here at this particular statement, find elements is returning list of web element and which is returning all the links for us. So here is a beautiful example where we will be able to 
get all the links at once and which is returning the link. Now we should be able to use all the methods within the list, right? For example, all links dot size or get of the first one, all that can be used. I hope that's a good example. Even some of us were able to find out if you want to find the drop down. So if you are writing a drop down code and let's write select new select of a web element. Let's try to get a new web element. Let me find a new web element. For example, maybe the first one, right? This is the first or second one, dot get off one. Control to L, and this is the second web element. So if we want to convert the second web element, which is not a right approach here to do it, just wanted to understand the meaning. So the select class is right here. So make sure we are importing the select class from all the way to the Selenium support. So if you are going to find the number of options, right? Get options, get options also return your list of web element for the options. If we go inside the get options, the get options are internally going to call find elements. We all know that find elements return list of web element. That's the reason find element is a beautiful example for returning list. So we get list of web element as a good example for us to understand where collection list is used inside Selen. Let's look at the second scenario where we have to use set, right? We all know that set is a basically to store non-duplicate values, which means you will get all the unique elements inside, right? So we have to go and first try to, for example, if you're opening multiple tabs in your screen, we have a, something called drive.getWindowHandles. So we are talking about window handles will return you all the newly opened tab in the current session, which will be returning a set. The reason why it has to be set because the Selenium team do not want it to have duplicate uh, window handles to come and set. If we have it, then it will be confusing. Actually, it has only two window tabs open. Unfortunately, if you are seeing third one, it may be duplicate. To remove the duplicates, we have a set in place. So with that said, we were able to use drive.get window handles can be a great example for storing the set. Now coming to the map, though map is not a collection framework, but it is a good idea from an interview perspective where do we use map in Selenium. So let's look at the Selenium example. In explicitly, you may not see methods exposing map, but if you are using any of your method, for example, get method, the get method, as we saw in the previous videos, which is going to call a particular driver command, which is going to go and make a call to an API call using W3C. So if you're going to go and call any of the method like this, right? All this method is going to call a method and then we will be getting a response. So these codes, whenever we are looking at a response, not like void, in the get method, we get back as a void. In a get title, we are going to get as a string. So this is an API call. This API call is called through execute. So if you go to the execute, execute is going to go and run a command. This execute method is going to send a request. This request is going to come back as a response. So as an API response. So if we go back and take a look at the API response that we're getting, it is coming as a map. It is coming as a map. So the response which is coming back from the API call is coming as a response. That response is converted into a map to retrieve whether it has an exception or whether it has a specific right response to come back. So with that said, for maps, all the API request which is going up and coming back to the Selenium web driver language binding as a great example for you to have it. Okay, let's take a look at the remote web drive class and search for the map, right? So if you look at the map and where we have a lot of places where the map is done, when you are looking at the session, the session response is supposed to be a part of a map. So every response which we are getting from the API should be a part of the map. If it is not a map, then it's going to throw an exception. 
So if you see in this every example, we are checking the capabilities, which is coming as a map. It parses it and try to understand what is coming back from the uh, API calls, right? Exactly, you will see in different examples as such. So every time you are executing a code, you are sending the query parameters as well. The response is also coming as a map. So we'll see one more example in our case. So the best example can be like the capabilities that we saw, or also if you see, if you are trying to get the implicit timeout, what has been said, the response is coming back as a get value. The response will be in the part of a map. It has been casted, and then we take a look at what is the value of the implicit keyword. So exactly the response is coming in the format of map. So the good example that we saw from the entire map will be all the API calls response, which is sent back, right? All the API response sent back from, from the driver, right? Or in the form of map. So those are all the great examples that you can take a look at it. Just to recap, for a list, you get driver find elements, which is returning list of web element. Driver get window handles, which returns a set. And similarly, the map is used internally for every API request response, which is coming in the form of map. Hope it makes a lot of sense. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye.